Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on our way down to Peterborough for PC Muscle Talk. If you don't know where Peterborough is in relation to where I live, which is in Dundee, it's six and a half hour drive. I'm sure Simon will put up a little uh, map of how long that is, but what it'll involve is multiple P stops along the way. It's been a wee while, it's been a good break since the Scottish season we had, obviously, PC Newcastle was the last time you guys seen us. Two athletes this weekend, one of them in the back of the car at the moment, both look shut up. Um, and cannot wait to see what they're like on stage. For those of you that haven't met Stacia, this is Stacia. Stacia's doing Masters of Kini. Stacia, why don't you tell them like when you came on board, why, and then you know what say, show this is for you and like number of shows, etc. etc. I decided to do go again because I did it last year and had great fun. I felt like I wanted to push it a wee bit more this year. Obviously you came on board in January. Mm -hmm. Preparation for this show versus last year. How have you, how have you found the, the difference between the two? This, this prep's been so much easier. It's been great. It's been what, plain sailing. What would you say has made it easier for you um, versus before? Different, completely different style of coaching. Different way of um, looking at food. Different way of putting food in, completely different, yeah, much easier. Stacia said to me, she, on the console call, she was like, I don't know if I want to compete again, I'm not really sure. And I was like, if, you, if you're if you done, if you're done, you'll know, but here we are, at a fucking service station, on the way, <laughs> on the way down to Peter, and she's competing again. So, yeah, can't wait to see, what, you'll see what she looks like later on. here. Right, so just arrived in Peterborough, just to check out some of the athletes because they are roughly three meals deep. And it's really at this point, like, I need to either push more food, back off, or do we make changes? So right up until they go to sleep, then do it all again tomorrow morning. Good. Definitely a fuller at this point before two bros. Yeah. Yep. Good. See what we should do? We should go through what it's going to be like on stage. So, quarter turn to the right. Nice. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Good. So then they might say quarter turn to the right. So they'll get you to go in the front pose. And then from here, they'll say, ladies facing the front of the stage, hands uh, are posed to the front of the stage, hands above the head. Good. Then they'll say, ladies facing the rear of the stage, are posed to the rear of the stage, hands overhead. Get your glutes on here. Nice. That's a good one for you as well. Ladies, front pose of choice. Go on your side shot. So your side shot with one hand overhead. So then when they say, ladies, pose to the rear of the stage with your hands above your head, you go straight into that pose. There, wide, wide. Glutes hard. Nice, now you're quite wide with your foot. Yeah. What if you just brought in half a foot? Okay, now push it, now, now go for it. And just see if that allows you to push your knees a bit wider. Good, yeah. Because when you do that, I could really see, I could I could see your glutes come on. Yeah, nice, nice. What I would do is when you go from this shot here, straight away, feet wider, knees wide, boom, then up. Yeah. Yeah, good. Nice. You look good, man. You're filling nicely. I don't think we'll end up pushing more in. The only thing we would do is either leave it as it's, as it's doing or just pull back a little bit in later meals. But I still think you go ahead with this next one. Yeah. The reason I was getting you to eat more was just when you hit that shot there, I just always look at your delt yeah. and you can see it's popping. Another meal and then we'll maybe see if we need as much in the last one or not or if we need to just 
back off a wee bit, you know? Um, we'll just take it meal by meal. Just go through like you would do check and just hold each pose for a few seconds. Because you had a lot of food the past two days, I don't feel we need to like push yeah. push the envelope too much because yeah. the main thing for us and for a bikini is just keeping your midsection yeah. control as wee yeah. as possible. Yeah, yeah. But you've got a good wee one pound round of pose and a wee pump on, so it's like yeah. right, that's that's enough food. Yeah. And from the rear you look, you look good as well. Like that little glute hamstring tie you've got, once you put a bit of tan on in that as well, it's just going to come through even more. Yeah. <laughs> that at seven and then once you've had a tan after the final check and then just look at you and think right do we need yeah okay because then at that point if we did we'd put in like yeah. say four rice cakes okay. and a bar and some jam but it's 20 minutes to the place okay. googled it right okay last one there. I think you might need just one more meal. Okay. But what we would do is we'd, we'd have that, let's say, you tan to half six. So you typically would probably eat, would you eat that after tan and four? Um, so I finished at half three. No, eat it before the, cool. probably eat it before the tan to be fair. Six. But what we'd do is we need to look at you again. All right, okay. So we are way to head to tan. Already been informed it's like an hour behind because Debs is there. Always the case. Typically on show days or show weekends at Tan Hall is always a little bit late. They're apparently they're catching up, so we're just gonna get there for the time that Stacia's supposed to be there. Look at Debs, look at Stacia again, decide if we need to push more in for their final meal, do they not need to eat as much, etc. etc. Everything always looks better with the tan. So I can't wait to see these girls with tan. Oh, fine if I take a deep breath. Here's some beetle for you. Yes. <laughs> this is MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Because I'm here, you'll always understand the result. So good or bad, I always say, look, well, this is why you place where you placed, and yeah. this is why she placed second, and this is why she, he, she placed third, and blah, blah, blah. My very first shot in place, right? And I didn't understand it. I don't have anyone there to tell me why. Yeah. So I make a huge point, like, being there for, being there at client shows, because one, one, I want to share in their success, but two, also, like, I want to just explain to them the result, if they're unsure of why did they, why did they just miss out on coming first? What, what was number four? You go, all oh, right, they were a little bit better in your delts or they're a bit fuller here, blah, blah, blah. Then you go, all right, fair. Cheers. I assume it's up there, eh? I'd sit down and chill out, eh? Have you got water and stuff with you or not? I didn't have much left, so I just left it. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. My hardest ever prep was the first one. And every prep thereafter has just been a bit easier because you just yeah. know what to expect and all that, you know yeah, what I mean? It's just, uh, it's just been easier. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, you're doing 25 minutes less cardio a day as well. Yeah. Fab. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Final, yeah, there we go. Did you bring your heels with you? Sorry? Did you bring heels with you? I'm so sticky though. Big vein there though. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? Big warm. Cool, right. See you soon. Three hours later. No, I'm kidding. Um, we only got here like an, less than an hour ago, but Deb's been here since half six. It's now 20 past eight. Luckily though, Stacia got called not long after she did, so we should be home and tucked up in bed for, I'm going to say, half nine, which is great for me. Maybe that's Simon. He's behind the camera. No, let's let's show Simon. Oh. Let's show Simon. There he is. He's the man behind the lens. <laughs> Actually, not too bad, eh? 
Stał z takie. I don't think you'll need any more food. I think that you're pretty much good to go, yeah. You can maybe eat a little bit more to curb the hunger. Not loads, but you got extra rice cakes with you, right? So do you think maybe like, Three rice cakes maybe curb your hunger a little bit. Yeah. Sure. Just three of them. Don't think you need to have anything more with it. Okay. You're fine, but yeah, you look class. Really, really good. Happy with that. You tan's actually, you tan really well. Yeah, it's good. Right, guys, that is day one done. So, as you can see across the day, like some of the plans we've had in place have changed, right? So, with Debs, pulled her food back. Why? Well, she's nice and full. She's feeling like digestion's not great just with where she's at the time of the month. So, pulled it back. And that last check in there, midsection feels better. So, brilliant. We know she'll wake up on the money tomorrow or a little bit flat and just feed her in the show. Stacia there as well. We purposely loaded her differently to what Debs was doing. Loaded her Thursday, Friday, and today's been like a moderate day, so not much food. Um, so she's a little bit hungry <laughs> and could probably have a bit more, like get a little bit full on her delt. So that is us done. Check-ins will start at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I'll see you all then. MTV, welcome to my crab. <laughs> nah, no, I'm just kidding, but day two here at Peterborough, 10 to 6 in the morning. We go downstairs, do the girls' check ins, decide what they're having to eat, and then literally just look at them every two hours until show. Particularly your first side shot, it's your stronger one. Right. And the, one of the sort of like cues for me when looking at you is, it, do you have that big defined cap on uh -huh. that delt? And then this morning it's just not quite as popping. Okay. So you just need, like, because of that, you just know you need more food. But when you look at the food you've had the past three days, mm -hmm. it's only going to take a couple of meals to bring that pot back. And we just assess, like, right after this one. So you get it in, next time you get it in, it's like next time it eats at half eight. We then think, right, do we need to push more or do we just repeat it? Okay. Because we put that in with a bit of salt, a bit of fluid, and your physique starts coming to life. You mm -hmm. just know, like, right, the more you keep doing that, mm -hmm. it's just going to continue mm -hmm. to get better and better. So, as you can see, the girls look good. What I was saying outside was that, and bo both of them, to be fair, like Debs in particular, when she goes into her first quarter turn, she has to transition. It's that shoulder. That it, if it pops and it's vascular, I'm like, right, she's bursting full. But it's not quite as much this morning as we've seen it. However, however, we know that she's eating like 700 grams of carbs day one, load 600 grams day two. So because we used a little bit of diuretics overnight to, to pull fluid out, that's why she's a little bit flat. So I know that one meal, a little bit of salt fluid, she'll, she'll pop. With Stacia, similar scenario, to be fair. Different way we did it with her. She ate food Thursday, Friday. I loaded Thursday, Friday. Saturday was like moderate day, so she went, let's say, 450 gram of carb, 500 gram of carb, and yesterday was like 300. And again, today, um, although we use natural diuretics, although today, this morning, again, she's a little bit flat. But with both of them, and I think that for me as a coach, I think that you would rather plan for this scenario than the opposite. The last thing that you'd want to wake up on a show is spilled over. You know what I mean? Because then athlete starts to worry, stress gets higher, and then ultimately the look goes to shit. Whereas if you wake up a little bit flat, and then I'm like, eat, 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 then the physique gets better across the day, the confidence gets better, and then that portrays on stage as they kind of go 
go up there. Um, so I know, and the reason I say I know is because I've I've done it loads of times before, right? But it was it was with Debs last week, uh, two weeks ago at Two Bros. It was the same scenario. So I just know she'll get better. And then with Stacia, I've prepped loads of bikini girls and seen it happen before. So yeah, I think that you'll probably watch this and think, "Fuck, he's pretty calm." And most of them, someone said this to me a couple weeks ago that you won't be able to tell what I'm thinking by looking at me. And it'd be really interested if anyone's watching if you think that too. Let me know. I feel like people watching, just not, they know the script already. Right, yeah, get that song on. It's fucking show day. As the lights turn right and exit onto Bishop's Road. Yeah, I should definitely be on MTV. <laughs> the destination is on your right. This morning, when we did sort of Deb's posing, she was a little bit flat, wasn't uh, popping quite as much. But we've seen it before and we just knew that when we put a bit of fluid and salt back in, she just, right, come to life. If you look back at that video, you'll see as she hits that side shot, the cue for me is always her delt there. And you can see she's getting a pump on just posing. So she's nice and full, just in case of holding that till she goes on stage. So now it's about two and a half hours now. Minimal food now, a little bit of fluid, a little bit of salt and whatnot before she goes on. The job's good. See, this morning you just didn't have like the pop in your shoulders that was there like the day previous, but it's just what we saw at the two bros, and the same thing, two meals in. Yeah. It's just really the salt and the fluid that does it, because yeah. we kind of pull it out overnight. When we put that back in with a bit of food, you could see, you just go, yeah. um, do you know how many is in the category and stuff like that? How many what? How many is in the category at all? Um, well, I've just met an athletic girl, because I've got my hat because she's looking to watch somebody else. Right. I've seen a couple of girls that will put it more athletic than at all, so could be three or four. We'll just see, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Same salt, same fluid, same meal. Because uh, you look good, looks holding. That might be the, the last like bigger meal, and then we'll start tapering off after that. Cool. And then just whenever you're like totally ready, Debs will be on in like I don't know about an hour. Nice. Yeah, you look good. Our next class today is our ladies' athletic figure. Please give a big round of applause for Debbie and Mandela. received invitations invitations to return with us in October to compete at the British finals. In second place, we have number 41, Debbie, which means our athletic figure muscle talk champion is number 42, Magdalena. I forgot the dance a little bit, you know. Didn't you didn't know us? Yeah. You know what, you like outsize her so much, but when you turn at the rear, she was just leaner. And that was it, like, I don't know if she was a bit younger, but from the rear she was a bit leaner and then she just like, skin was sitting a bit tighter as well. Yeah. It's unfortunate, because even when you came out, I was like, fucking hell, you're way bigger than her. And then when you turn at the rear... Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, I think, uh, you think you have to be bigger, like the next minute, somebody leaner than you did. Yeah. Just really did it out I think they just awarded conditioning, that's all. Um, and it sucks there was only two of you. It really sucks, but that's half with the look. I don't think, like, not, I don't think again, we done it, like, we did anything differently, it would have changed the result. Because they've just went for, we'll get us a bit sharper. Um, but. I'm not fair anyway, because I've got it all the way. Yeah. What would be best to do is just drop, drop it a little bit tomorrow, put cardio back in, even just like 45 minutes back in. Put it in from like Monday to Thursday, 
and then loads of Friday Saturday again. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is when I get home tonight is I'll just tweak the diet, send you so you got it, but just take the rest of the day off. No, I think the package is good. I think that the, the peak went well, just as well as you know, on to the next one. So section one now done. There's a little bit of a break and Stacia's is on more towards the end. Tough result there for Debs, you know, the girl was a little bit sharper. Debs is a lot bigger than her. Unfortunately, that's just bodybuilding. That's the way it goes. You know, she looked incredible and I don't think anything we could have done differently would have, would have changed it. Um, as I said, you know, if there's if there's five of you and you come second, you're, you're buzzing, but if there's just two and you come second, it can be quite uh, the feeling can be a little bit gutting but um, she's brand new you know she won a couple weeks ago in the over 40s and so there's no masters figure in PCA uh, unfortunately but still looking great but you know uh, we've still got a long day ahead of us how's hunger and stuff fine fine yeah cool <laughs> yeah nice you look really good yeah I don't think you need really much more food if you're not hungry I think that's okay for just now and if you get really really hungry maybe like two have to you have a little bit of rice cake with a little bit of nut butter, but you look good. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. incredible I knew Stacia looked good and I knew she was good enough to win but then when they all come out and you see them straight up as a coach you kind of go you, you instantly start placing them in their head and straight away you're like right she's the leanest from the front a couple of girls look good turns to the rear and I'm like right she's beats them all day from the rear yeah fucking epic overall time now oh ladies bikini everybody came out and you could tell. see the winner and then yeah. there was one that was all right and then when you turned the rear I was just like you've won yeah, all day. Yeah. You could tell. But I just felt, felt good because they didn't move me to the middle. Yeah. Well they moved you to the middle and the yeah. hell. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. but you're the winner by a long the, shot. Is that, the, is that the sign that we moved to the middle? Yeah, yeah. So like it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, that's how you place it but yeah. fucking right. Woo! How do you feel like that? That first trophy you won, right? No, no. No. About second last time. No, like the oh, the first yeah. pull. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I, I bigged it up in the interview. Did I was you? like, prep coach, you okay? <laughs> Good, brilliant. Yeah, felt great. I'm over to taking a massive bite out with cookie. See what I do. Oh, wow. See what I do to you. Get like a litre of water in you. Yeah. Get a few litres there because you're pulling it out and mm. stuff like that. Um, but mm -hmm. we'll get you a KFC or something. Yeah. Just One. Get it in. What are you having? I think we'll just go Italian for tonight. Oh, sounds good. I'm going to have to glass, glass of wine and then I'm back on it tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole really awkward interview for YouTube. How'd you feel? Brilliant. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Easy answer. Eh? <laughs> See, when you started prep, did you think you'd win, or do you think it was possible? No, or? I didn't think I didn't. I didn't think I was going to win. I was hopeful that I was going to beat my second last year. But yeah, 
I definitely think that when you got like say six weeks out, when I saw you at the unit, I was like, ah, oh, you look really, really good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you like, tell, like, you said this in the, yesterday, but tell them the difference in your preps from last year, this oh, year. Like night and day. What did you find? What did you find what was different about it? It's just easier, just so much easier. I just really dig in the whole time last year. Just. What? So what she's getting at is that if you're thinking about coaching, just sign up with me and you get one of those. That's it. <laughs> so that is PC Muscle Talk wrapped up. We are back up the road today. Six and a half hours for us back up to Dundee. It's been an incredible weekend, an incredible experience. I hope that you've got more of an insight as to what a show day is like, what the lead up's like, what the day before is like, etc., etc. And I hope to see you on the next episode.